I'm going to do an SEO tutorial for beginners that you can easily follow to help you boost your website's rankings and traffic. So let's get started. So when it comes to doing SEO properly, the first thing you need to do is pick your target keywords. So these are the main keywords that best represent your business, your products, and your services that you have on your website. Once you have a list of your target keywords, the next thing you need to do is simply Google them. So let's just say I'm a personal trainer. I have a website where I teach people how to lose weight, how to gain muscle. And one of the things I teach are workouts. So one of my target keywords are easy workouts at home. So I googled this search phrase and one of the things I'm looking at is the average monthly search volume. So for this target keyword, the average monthly search volume is close to 3,000 a month. And I think that's a pretty substantial number. Now I'm getting this data from the Keywords Everywhere extension. Now to get this browser add-on, all you need to do is go to keywordseverywhere.com and you can install this for either Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. So now that I have the search volume for one of my main target keywords, I want to see what additional keywords I can potentially target on my website. So I'm gonna scroll down and take a look at the widgets from Keywords Everywhere. You can see some related keywords right here with their respective average monthly search volume. You can also see this widget for keywords that people also search for, and you can also see some additional long tail keywords. So what I wanna do here is go through these keywords and find the ones that are relevant to my website and also have some good monthly search volume. Now, don't worry if the monthly search volume is very low, like 10, nine, or zero. If it's relevant to your business and website, you still want to take note of that because people will still be searching for it and you wanna make sure you have content that's relevant to what you are teaching and offering. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna go up here. I think this one is pretty relevant. Seven exercises to do every day that has close to 2,000 average monthly searches a month. And what's great about Keywords Everywhere, you can click on this star icon to add it to your favorites list. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to star my first phrase right here. And let's scroll and take a look at what people also search for. And this one stands out to me. Easy workouts at home to lose belly fat. This has a monthly search volume of 110 which is on the lower end, but that's okay. It's pretty similar to my original search phrase, easy workouts at home. So what I can do is create a page teaching people some general workouts that they can do at home. And I can potentially create another page where I teach people workouts that they can do at home specifically to lose belly fat. So I'm gonna start this and let's continue to scroll and take a look at this widget. And maybe this one might be a good one as well. Easy workouts at home without equipment. We can teach that on our website, so I'm gonna start that as well. Now to view a list of all of my favorite keywords, I'm going to click on the Keywords Everywhere extension, then click on my favorite keywords. And these are all of the keywords that I favorited from my keyword research that I completed. So what you wanna do now is see if you have a page on your website that's already targeting these topics and optimize that page for these keywords. But if you don't have a page that's targeting any of these topics, what you will do is create a brand new page to target these keywords. So let's just say I already have a page that talks about easy workouts at home. So what you wanna do is make sure you optimize the on-page SEO of that page. So here's how you do it. So I'm gonna scroll down to the search results towards the bottom and pick a page that I think we can optimize for our keyword easy workouts at home. So we have a relevant page that talks about workouts that people can try at home. So we need to optimize the on-page SEO. I like to look at the URL first. I wanna make sure that it's short and has our target keyword. Right now it says 30 minute workouts you should try at home. What we can potentially do is shorten this and change it to easy workouts at home. So it targets specifically our main target keyword. Next, I'm gonna use SEO Minion. Now you will have access to SEO Minion if you've subscribed to the silver plan or above for keywords everywhere. I'm gonna click on analyze on page SEO and let's take a look at their on page SEO elements. Okay, so we discussed the URL that I think we can uh, tweak and shorten and this is their title tag. We can update it with our main target keyword, easy workouts at home. 
We can also add that keyword in our meta description and also in our h1 tag as well. Now let's take a look at the additional headings on this page. So the next heading is an h2 and it says what are the benefits of working out and then it mentions the types of workouts and then the best 30 minute home workouts, physical therapy available in southwest Ohio, workout one, best 30 minute low impact workout with weights, workout two, best 30 minute beach body workout, and so on. And those are all H3 tags. So when it comes to headings, you only want one H1, and this page only has one H1, which is perfect. And you want to organize your on-page body content with descriptive H2s and H3s. And right now, I think this page can improve their headings. The headings are pretty broad and they don't necessarily list out the exact workout because if you go back to Google, and scroll towards the top, we can see some easy at-home workouts. So we can optimize a page with what's listed here and some additional ones that you may have from your own experience and expertise. So we can have a section talking about planks, push-ups, jumping jacks, and so on. Now let's go back here. Now let's take a look at the on-page body content. So we can see the headings here with some copy blocks and there are videos. And it looks like there are videos for every single section with not much uh, text. And also there doesn't seem to be any static images, only a list of videos. So what we can potentially do is also add images of different workouts in each section and also talk a little bit more about the exercises themselves. Now, if you are stuck in terms of what additional content you can add on your page or how else you can optimize your page for the target keyword, what I suggest is go back to Google and open up a few of the top ranking pages. So I'm gonna click on this one and take a look at how they organize their content and what content they actually put on their page. So their heading is the eight best at-home workout routines, the ultimate guide for training without a gym. So this page is listing out eight at-home workout routines. And in the intro part of the article, they list out those eight at-home workouts that they will discuss on the page. And they are jump clicks. So if you click on maybe this one, it'll jump to that section. That's about the 20-minute hotel routine with an image and different hotel workouts according to level with specific workouts for each one. So body weight squats, incline push-ups, for level one and then level two has push-ups, inverted rows, reverse crunches, and so on. So as you can see, it's a little bit more detailed compared to our original page where it's simply a YouTube video and a couple of sentences that describe that particular workout. Now, if you don't have a page that is currently targeting a topic from your favorites keywords list, you would need to create a brand new page. So let's just say we don't have a page on seven exercises to do every day. So I'm gonna go to Google and search for that particular target keyword. And what I wanna do is take a look at the top pages that are ranking for this target keyword. So I'm gonna open up this and analyze the on-page copy for this page. You can see the URL is exercises you should do every day, which is very similar to our target search phrase, seven exercises to do every day. You can see they included quite a bit of images and they list out each of the seven exercises with a short paragraph explaining them. And most of the exercises do have images in their respective sections. And they also have this header here, seven exercises you should do every day. Now let's get a little bit more granular and open up the SEO minion extension. Click on analyze on page SEO. And this is their title tag, their meta description, and their headings are right here. And you can show all headings and take a look at what their headings are and how you can mimic their content for your brand new page. So looking at this, it doesn't seem like their headings are all too descriptive and really speak about the topic. Like for example, you can see performance cookies, strictly necessary cookies, functional cookies and so on. So it doesn't seem that their on-page is properly optimized, which might be a good thing because if you create a page that's better than this one, you have an opportunity to outrank this page and capture that search traffic. Now the average monthly search volume is close to 2000 a month. So if you create a page that's better than the pages that are ranking up here, then you can very easily grow your search traffic. Now the next part of this SEO tutorial is off-page SEO. Now off-page SEO is all about backlinks. So backlinks are links on other pages 
that are pointing to your page. Now, the better quality and more backlinks your page has, the easier it is to rank. Now, many of these pages that are ranking high might have some good backlinks, which is why they are ranking high, even though their on page might not be that great. So let's take a look at the backlinks that we were just analyzing. So if you hover over this first row here, you can view the domain authority, which is a 51 out of 100, which is average, not too high, not too low. They have quite a bit of referring domains and total backlinks. And it looks like over time, their domain authority has been slowly creeping upwards. So this might be a reason why they are ranking so high, even though their content might not be fully optimized. And if you click on show backlinks, you can view the backlinks pointing to this page. So I'm gonna click here and it says no backlinks found for this page. View backlinks for the entire domain. So you can view backlinks for the entire domain. So if you click on that, Keywords Everywhere will provide that information for you. So you can see the specific URLs with the anchor text and the Moz domain authority. You can see they are getting backlinks from Shopify, Eventbrite, Forbes, the Daily Meal, Business Insider. So many of their backlinks pointing to the domain are actually from very authoritative sites. So that might also be a reason why this particular page is ranking high, even though it does not have backlinks pointing to it, only to the website as a whole. So what you would want to do is take note of these backlinks. And what you want to do is take a look at all of these pages to see if you can potentially acquire a backlink from this same page or from this website. So we can potentially reach out to this author or the owner of the dailymeal.com to see if we can potentially work with them in maybe collaborating on an article or writing a guest post on their website where we can potentially add a link pointing to our page. Now let's go back here and open up this one from Business Insider. And this article is listing out uh, the 23 wealthy and successful European entrepreneurs. So it looks like the CEO and co-founder of allplants.com is listed in this article. And you can see the anchor text and backlink right here pointing to allplants.com. So what you can potentially do is find another website that's listing out maybe website owners or top influencers in your specific niche and see if you can be listed as one of those top business owners or top influencers in your niche. Maybe you can find a page that's listing out the top trainers in your area and work with that author and be ranked as one of the top trainers where you can have a short bio like this and then link to your website or blog page. So as you analyze all the backlinks, you will very quickly find many great ideas to help you acquire backlinks from these same websites or similar websites. So that's how you do off-page SEO in a nutshell. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this SEO tutorial for beginners. If you got some value out of this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.